This one doesn't really need a lot of explanation because it's all in the title. And it's called, I'm a subsistence farmer, get me out of here. Um, but I will tell you a little bit about it. It basically tells the truth about subsistence farming in the developing world, which is it's back-breaking toil with no rewards and absolutely no future. Now, I think most of us are sitting here thinking, that's so obvious we don't really need to make a film about it. But unfortunately, this is in stark contrast to the TV celebrity chefs and the environmentalists who seem to think well, I think they probably lost the plot because they seem to think we should all have a garden plot. And so here in the West, we're disenchanted with our lot. Here in the West, we worry. We think we should cut back. We think we should waste our time recycling um, and worry about um, limited resources and too many people. We romanticise about rural life. Now, that might be all right for the celebrity chefs who can come and go and are rich enough to have these choices, but it's not all right for subsistence farmers in the developing world. They have a very different idea about what that's all about, and they have a very different idea about what they want, what they desire, what their needs are, and what their aspirations are. It is better to come and live in a shanty town like this than to actually be in a rural area, in the sense that when you come to this place, uh, you have at least a relatively good clinic. You can have electricity even if it is not frequent. You can have portable water even if it is not as best as uh, uh, you need it. It is also better to have menial work, okay? Even if it is portal, truck pushing and that is. Those things are non-existent in the rural communities. Mixing uh, sand, it takes it really takes time because he has to use about uh, five months, at times a year, to build a house with. So John is a subsistence farmer, right? Okay, and how how old is John? Uh, Twenty. That's a cutlass. Mm -hmm. That is going to use the cutlass to dig the soil. To dig all of this, right? Just with this. Yes. Okay, it looks like hard work, John. To an extent, I find myself in, uh, in agreement with uh, the, the message uh, of, the, uh, of the short film. Um, in terms of the analysis, but looking where we go from there, maybe that's where we're going to diverge. This is the alternative to the, uh, the subsistence uh, peasant life that we've just seen in, in the film. Uh, currently, very, very large numbers of people have chosen to migrate from um, rural areas into um, cities, and they live in squalid conditions, around one-sixth of the world's population living in squalid conditions in, in big cities. Uh, they're escaping from the rural parts. What this basically tells you is the kinds of farms that we just saw on screen, you can get maybe $250, $300 a year income from them. You're talking about less than a dollar a day income from a farm size of about one hectare in this case Nigeria, but we can say other examples it's going to be about the same. You contrast that with growing the same crop under more favorable conditions on the mechanization, uh, eight to 10 times the yield, and of course a bigger farm as well. You can make a, a good living from farming under these conditions, but not if you're farming as a subsistence peasant. I think it's time in the West that we start to uh, bring the, uh, the, the uh, how would you say, the wheel of development round once more. We've done so much 
We've carried out so much harm on this planet, and we've got to actually work with that again and take on board what the lessons we've learned, uh, both for good and for worse. Um, I think we need the reverse uh, to reverse the missionary position in the future. Uh, the fact that term Terminal 5 has just been uh, opened up, I think there's some people will be delighted in the near future when the, earth, when the moon is actually colonized to be living there and paying visits back to the earth. There is a great debate today here. This is what I've been saying all my life. This is what I want somebody to be saying about Africa. Thank you, this is what we need. It's, it's coming directly from here. We've seen in the film what people want. They want development. Nobody wants gold. They, they don't say that. The farmers, they want tractors to expand their farms, and to produce and sell and send their children to school. Sustainable development and environmentalism, it says that we are wrong. That all we do, are, we are destroyers. It talks about human consumption, human footprints, and that we have to cut back, that we have to worry about ourselves, that everything that we do is, is, somehow, is somehow bad, is somehow ruining the planet. It's ruining biodiversity, it's, ru it's ruining um, the ecosystems. And so we need to redistribute. That's really what I think you're saying, Bill, I don't know. We need to redistribute, we need to level down. So the West needs to level down, about there, and the developing world can go about there, and then that'll be nice and sweet. And what, what World Right would say is let's have more cake, let's build more so people could have more. For all is for all, the best for everybody. I'm glad I do not live in the 1950s. We have so much more now. Um, and that's because of development. 